Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a six box half case break of 2024 Panini Donner's Elite Football. Pick your team number three, giving away some teams here as well. So if you bought a team outright, some of you are gonna get extra teams in that order right there. So let's put your names in there. Let's clear out some of the blank spots. All right, so top seven after four will get extra teams in that order right there. Mouse, what's going on here? All right, one and three, four times. One, two, three, and four. There you go, there's the top seven right there. Pat, Jerry, Michael, Mickey, Nico, Adam, and Matt. After four. And here we go, so Pat, you're gonna get the Colts, Jerry with the Jaguars, Michael with the Lions, Mickey with the Texans, Nico with the Chargers, Adam with the Raiders, and Matt with the Browns. And we'll put little rooftops next to your name. So those rooftops will uh, let you know the, those spot you want. So Pat with the Colts, Jerry with the Jacksonville Jaguars, good alliteration there. Michael with the Lions, Mickey with the Texans, Nico with the Chargers, Adam with my Raiders. And Matt Johnson with the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. And Greg, you got last spot mojo. You picked up the, uh, the Falcons last before we pulled those teams. All right, so there's the full list right there. Now let's just print this out and we can rip. And it's 12 boxes, so let's pick six out of here. slide this out like that. So we've got six on the left side here and six on the right side over here. We'll roll the die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it is one. So we're gonna do the left side right there. These will save for some other time. And here's the final printout here on a Monday. Look at that. Mark giving back to the community, passing down his, his wiffle ball skills to others. All right, two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. We're looking for the pen pal feet, pen pal autographs. Etc. It's a lot of numbered card in here, so on and so forth. All right, well, week five, right? Week five is in the books. Back at Thursday, the uh, Falcons beat the Buccaneers in overtime, 36 to 30.
the London game, Vikings improving to 5-0. and oh. Did everyone have that on their bingo card? They beat the Jets 23 to 17. Aaron Rodgers had three interceptions. Bears starting to heat up, huh? Bears beat the Panthers, the Panthers, but still. 36 to 10. Bears are now 3 and 0 at home. Heartbreaker for the Bengals in Cincinnati. Ravens beat them in overtime. There's a big Derrick Henry run and then uh, and the subsequent field goal. Ravens beat the Bengals 41 to 38. Bengals fall to one and three. One and four, that is. 0 and three at home. I feel like a lot of bad breaks for the Bengals. Um, Dolphins beat the Patriots 15 to 10. We might get some, uh, get some indications on Tua at some point this week or next. Four and one commanders. Can they can they win the division? Jaden Daniels looking like the real deal. Not nah, Chiefs are just good at it. Not really, Gilo. If you look at the stats, they're 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 struggling a little bit here and there, but that doesn't mean they're good at they're good at winning games even when they're not at their best. Yeah, defense has been looking pretty good. Um, Commanders beat the Browns 34 to 13. Jaden Daniels looking pretty good. That's good for the hobby. All right, let's roll here. There's going to be a lot of these numbered cards. So I'm actually going to set these aside and sleeve these up later, but they'll all get sleeved and top loaded. I feel like the Chiefs are struggling at some things. Here's Spellbound Christian McCaffrey. But, you know, you know what good teams do, even when they're not at their best. There's Dallas Turner. They can still win games. There's Dallas Turner. That's going to be for the Vikings. And that will be for a Pat in Minnesota. There's Will Shipley to 399 for the Eagles. Here's Max Crosby, elite insert. And this also looks pretty sharp. There's Cortland Sutton to 249. And we got a Will Shipley Pen Pals auto for the Fly Eagles Fly. That's going to go to Jerry and the Eagles. There's a Drake May, rookie on deck. I like that playing card look there. There's Brock Purdy. Drake May for Mark and the Patriots. Jackson Smith and Jigba for the Seahawks to 399. There's a Kyle Shanahan, we got coach, coaches cards this year to 249. That'll be for Michael and the Niners. And we got full throttle, DK Metcalf to 349, Seattle. That will be for uh, Adam Smitty. Marvin Harrison Jr. and Devontae Adams, 17. Jersey number out of 49. Where does where does Devontae end up? Very likely it'll be traded. Xavier Worthy to 999. What's up, Eric? It's good to be back. 
So Otis Anderson, 399. That's for Greg and the Cardinals. Here is Jonathan Brooks to 249 for Carolina. That'll be for Nico. And we've got a Jalen Hurts relic. 139 out of 500 for Jerry and the Eagles. There's uh, Michael Penix Jr. for Atlanta. That'll be for Greg and the Falcons. First round quarterback kind of cards we'll take care of right away. I mean, just going really quick back to Gilo's Chiefs, they're kind of middle of the pack in yards per play, 5.5 yards per play. You know, they turn over the ball a lot, second in the league, each offensive series, 17.5% of the time. Uh, ends up in a turnover. So they're not that sharp offense that we've come to expect with Mahomes there. You know, and they're 23rd in the league in red zone, you know, scoring in the red zone. Only 45%. 23, 23rd worst? How am I supposed to say it? 23rd worst? The best teams are the Ravens, Saints, Browns. They're at 75% anytime they're in the red zone. Although the Browns have only been in the red zone eight times. Saints and Ravens have been there 20 and 16, respectively. Which is kind of terrifying if you're the rest of the league. Because once that offense starts to click a little bit, their defense is pretty solid. Once that offense starts to click... Then I mean, it's dangerous. And the offense not that great, and then yet they're still undefeated. But yeah, I think Devonte is going to get traded before the season. I think they were pretty adamant about not trading him, and even Devonte was pretty adamant about being, not being traded. But I don't know, something, something happened. Now, it might just be as simple as, I don't know, some, some social media BS that happened, but I can't imagine that's, that's, that's the reason that triggered Devontae into saying, hey, if you guys trade me, I wouldn't mind. I don't know if he's actually, has he requested a trade, or is he just saying, if something works out, do it? It doesn't seem like he's going to hold out and not once he gets healthy from that supposed hamstring injury, so I, I don't know what's going on. But I, I, th I think I think he does. I think if the Raiders were maybe three and two instead of two and three, I mean they 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 should have beat Carolina, and they should have beat the Chargers at the beginning of the season. So it's season's not started off the way the Raiders have wanted it to. So why not why not trade Devontae, get some picks. You know, let's try to retool there. There's Baker Mayfield. Speaking of Devontae, there he is. I'm sure a lot of teams would want a Devontae Adams. Baker Mayfield to 500. That'll be for the Bucks. That's going to go to Nico. Saints could use, probably could use a Devontae Adams. Commanders, maybe. Give Jaden Daniels another weapon. Lamar Jackson to 99 for the Ravens. That'll be for Aaron. Here's a Cornelius Johnson to 399 for the Chargers. That'll be for Nico. And here is Everson Waltz, elite coverage for the Cowboys. 171 out of 500, piece of the jersey. One to Dallas, that'll be for Cliff. Hit Parade break better than expected. First case was fire, accused of saying. Here, Hit Parade is tough. I think, I don't, yeah, I guess maybe it's, it, maybe it is tough to hit. There's only, there's only 10 hits 
per uh, per case. But I think Hit Parade's pretty good about. You know, there are some other repack products that may be. You know, very high risk. You know, there's like one giant hit, and the, everything else is kind of not good. But um, so there's the two out of three forty nine, Arnold to nine ninety nine, the Malik Neighbors rookie card, looks like a parallel, and then there's Marvin Harrison Jr. But they're pretty good about making sure that the ceiling. The ceiling may not be as high, but the floor is not as low. I think that's a good thing. Higher floor, lower ceiling, kind of fits the price point. There's Jacob Cowing, 158 out of 499 for the Niners. It'll be for Michael. There's Jackson Smith and Jigba to 49. Here is a Mason Smith autograph, 82 out of 99, turn of the century auto. Be for Jerry and the Jags, the extra team that he won. Justin Jefferson to 249. And we've got a Brian Thomas Jr. Pen Pals autograph. It'll be for Jerry and the Jaguars. Keon Coleman to three ninety nine for the Bills. It'll be for Ron. There's Michael Penix. And Lawrence Taylor to three ninety nine. Greg with Atlanta. And Brendan Rice to two forty nine for the Bolts. It's gonna go to Nico. We got Justin Jefferson, the Elite. To 99, that'll be for Pat and the Vikings. All right. Go through. Let's whip around the league now that the week is a football week is officially over. Jaguars beat the Colts 37 to 34. Game-winning field goal for the Jags. They finally got finally got a a tick in the uh, in the win column. It's got to be nice. Texans uh, beat the Bills 23 to 20. A 59-yard field goal to walk it off for the Texans. Texans, they're they're three and zero at home, four and one on the season. That could be a scary team. My Raiders just kind of fell apart. They started off hot. They started off ten points in the first, ten nothing. Almost was looking to make it like seventeen to six or something like that, but. There's a uh, Patrick Sertain, 100-yard pick six, and then and everything just kind of fell apart from there. You know, a lot of people say, hey, if you win the second and third quarter, it's a good chance you're going to win the game. Raiders scored zero points in the second and third quarter. Broncos scored 20. 14 more points in the fourth quarter to the Raiders eight, and that was that. Raiders fall to two and three. Broncos are three and two. Cardinals beat the Niners. Niners fall into two and three. Cardinals beat the Niners 24 to 23. Packers beat the Rams 24 to 19. Rams could use a Devontae Adams. Could they? Saints could use a Devontae Adams. Rams could use a Devontae Adams. Giants beat the Seahawks 29-20, and Cowboys beat the Steelers on a late fourth quarter touchdown, 20 to beat the Steelers 20 to 17.
I was on the uh, I was on the Steelers minus like two and a half, and I thought I was gonna get it, but Dak Prescott with a that drive. Did I see some sad about how that was like his first like fourth quarter or last minute game winning drive, something like that. Christian McCaffrey to 75. And we've got a Ben Sinot. Sinot? Pen Pals. Autograph for EA and the Commanders. Hey, Bub. Bub means 158 at 249. Bub means business. Sam Laporta to 399 for the Lions. And we got a turn of the century rookie autograph. That's Audric Estime. 146 out of 499. Estime. I think I'm going to go with that. Who's got my rivals? Denver, David M. Keon Coleman to $9.99 for the Bills. Here's a Drake May, rookie elite. We sold 100 hit packs today. In how much time? Five hours. Really? Yeah. Wow. We sold 50 in an hour. How much were the hit packs? 300. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's really good. Nice. Two busted ankles, Michael Jaspi, new guy Clay, selling out hit packs. It's Garrett Wilson to 49. Sleeve that up later. TJ Hawkinson to 399. We got the W of Burrow, 143 out of 349, spellbound. Every once in a while, I'll go to a card show and I'll see. Um, I'll see someone with a set built out of these elite uh, of the elite letters. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool to see it all spelled out. It's John Elway to 249. Drake May will go to Mark in the Pats. We got Marvin Harrison Jr. to 25. Nice. Darius Robinson to 3.99. And we've got Numbers Game. Will Levis, 373 out of 500. Everyone here about Will Levis has a, a mayo scented cologne, I want to say. Not sure how I feel about that. Greg with that low numbered Marvin Harrison Jr. He's got the Cardinal. That's the 25. That's Roma Dunze. Rookie on deck. That'll be for Greg and the Bears. All right, we're halfway through, about another 20 minutes to go on this break. Wait, what's called, what, what's called turnover? All right, let's take a quick look at uh, at next week's game on Ribbon. Oh, the Cologne. It's called Turnover. I see. I see what you're saying. Nice, good one. I want Will Love to succeed. Though. That'd be good for the hobby. Our Thursday night game: Niners at Seahawks. 
Niners are the uh, the road favorite at minus three. Seahawks, the short home dog at plus three. Total is 47 and a half. I don't know, what's going on with the Niners? Cards win and Mike goes out. Oh, you think it's us? You think uh, you think there is some excessive celebrating happening, Mark? Is that what you're implying? Next box, we got Terry and Arnold to 499, 48 out of 499, autograph for the Detroit Lions, Michael. Michael P with that extra team he won. We got Roquan Smith for the Ravens to 399. There's Devon A-Chan, A-Chan, 272. I still want it to be A-Chan, but it's Chan, I believe. McCaffrey to 99, that'll be for the Niners, Michael P. Cooley McKinstry to 999. And extra edition. Jaden Daniels, Commanders, EA. Here's a Trevor Lawrence die cut, four out of 99. Roman Wilson to 399. Xavier Worthy to 999. And we've got a Joe Alt. 97 out of 99 for the Chargers. Throwback Threads, Mean Joe Green. 35 out of 99. Only mean on the football field, I hear. Off the football field, really nice. Nice Joe Green. But on the field, Mean Joe Green. Steelers, Michael G. Rookie on deck, Brock Bowers for my Raiders. That's going to be for Adam. And we got a Blake Corum, Pen Pals autograph. I think I've got him stashed. I've got two fantasy teams. I think I have him stashed away in one of them. I feel like as the season goes on, he may be someone interesting to watch. Rant. It's going to be for Mickey. Got a Jaden Daniels number. Nice. 852 out of 999. That'll be for EA. Mark was saying, yeah, Michael Jaspi injured after a Cardinals win. Mark's saying he has seen people fall from light posts. There's Joe Burrow, 249. That reminds me, I think I read something somewhere, some sort of publication. It's B. John Robinson that I think the number of deaths from selfies have gone up. People trying to take selfies. Falling off buildings, bridges. I think this mostly happens outdoors, I feel. It ha well, obviously, outdoors, not indoor. Death from death by selfie doesn't happen too often, but but like maybe on like naturey type trips, maybe not in an urban environment as much. 
And I feel like every once in a while you're like, oh yeah, someone at the Grand Canyon got too close and they tumbled off the, they tumbled off the cliff. You know, someone climbing a mountain or hiking or something like that, they tumble off a cliff. Careful people. I think Michael's gonna go to Germany for his ankle tendonitis. It's kind of like, uh, didn't Christian McCaffrey go to Germany? I think Kobe Bryant once went to Europe for horse placenta. Somehow that, that yes, that, that helps. I don't know how that was applied or used, but I did not inquire any, any further. Who knows, Mark? Yeah, he, he might be in Germany. He might get some uh, some stem cells injected into his ankles. You know what I mean? And he uh, he might get he might be replaced with with robot parts. Who knows? Using AI technology. Here's JJ McCarthy. That's for Pat and the Vikings. Eric Gall to 999. Jordan Love Spellbound 18 out of 99. That'll be from Matt and the Packers. And Dallas Turner. 215 out of 499. Pat and the Vikings. Will Shipley to 249. And a Jaden Daniels orange, 81 out of 399. Nice. I mean, thankfully, Michael did not injure his. You know what? I don't think a break. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it. There's spellbound Jordan Love to 349. I don't think anyone's had a major hand injury. Rookie on deck, Brock Bowers. Knock on wood. Otis Anderson to two forty nine. Uh, Audric to nine ninety nine. And pen pals, Will Shipley, Eagles. going to be Jerry and the Eagles. Has anyone in the chat ever had a pen pal? There's a Fashanu to 999 it's for the Jets. Jackson Smith and Jigba to 249. Davon Achan to 399. And an Aaron Rodgers numbers game relic. 008 out of 500. Is that his jersey number? Is Aaron Rodgers 8? He is. Jersey number. It's going to go to Matt and the Jets. Gilo had a pen pal in third grade. It's Bucky Irving. I think 
I had a pen pal in, in high school. I wonder, I don't, I don't have to, I have to think about what the context was of this pen pal. I think it's something to do with music. It was exchanging like uh, mixtapes, mix CDs or whatever you want to call them. With someone on a message board. Wonder what Aaron Rodgers would do to himself if the Jets won the Super Bowl? Now, Rodgers might retire. He turns 41 in December. I have his information up. I don't know that off the top of my head. December 2nd, he turns 40, 41, that is. If he wins the Super Bowl, he might just say, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm out on top. I think he only signed a two-year deal, right? This might be, a, this is his second year already. Oh, Mike Jaspi? If uh, if the Cardinals, yeah, if the Cardinals, if he's if he's breaking ankles, you know, in a regular season win, have the Cardinals ever won a Super Bowl? Have they, have they been to a Super Bowl? Man, I gotta look this up, babe. By the way, you know that the Arizona Cardinals are, are the oldest team? in the NFL. Well, they won an NFL championship pre-merger in 1925 and 1947. In 1925 as Chicago Cardinals and again in 47 as Chicago Cardinals. They did win um Yeah, they did win the 2008 NFC Championship. And they lost to uh, Pittsburgh by four points. That was your San Antonio Holmes MVP. All right, last box. Blake Corum. We got Quinion Mitchell for the Eagles at $9.99. We got a Michael Penix Elite Rookies or Rookie Elite. Elitist, whatever that is. Michael Penix for Atlanta. Be for Greg. Kind of like this this design here. I wonder if there's autographs of these. And pen pals, Anthony Gold, Pat, and the Colts. Out of regular top loaders. Hang on a second.
249, Mad Max Crosby, Rome Adunze, Demario Douglas to 399. We got Brendan Rice to 82. That's for Nico and the Bolts. And we got a coverage relic, Ronnie Lott. 43 out of 500. It's going to be for Michael P. Marvin Harrison Jr., extra edition. Braylon Allen to 399. And Blake Corm, turn of the century. Rookie auto, 309 out of 499. Mickey and the Rams, the Ramley. Tory Taylor to 999. Greg and the Bears. We got Micah Hyde to uh, 399 for the Bills. That's for uh, it's for Ron. And we got James Connor to 99 for Greg and the Cards. CJ Stroud Field Vision to 349. That's for the Texan. That's going to be for Mickey. Xavier Worthy, Cornelius Johnson to $9.99, Jacoby Myers, Kenneth Walker, and Reggie Wayne closes things out. That's the break, boys and girls. Half case break of 2024 Panini Donners Elite Football. Pick your team number three. Quick little recap. Some solid stuff here. Second half in the store. Some throwback threads. Got some nice numbering here. Rookie on deck looks pretty cool. And there you have it. Again, that was Pick Your Team 3. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Elite Football break. Bye-bye.